This video is going to cover the regex extract function in Google Sheets. You can use this function when you're trying to look at a string or a string that's in a cell on your spreadsheet and you want to extract a particular section of that string based on a search pattern that you specify. So what we're going to do in this video is look at these full addresses in column A and eventually extract the street address, the city, the state, and the zip code. But before we jump into that, I want to just kind of touch on some of the basic search patterns of this function. So we'll insert our function. The first input is the string, the text string we want to search on, which is our value in cell A2. The next input is the pattern we want to search for and see if there's a match in our string. That needs to be enclosed in double quotes. And I'm going to start out real simple, and we're going to search for the word west in our string. And there's a match, therefore it produces the match it finds easy enough. This function has many different ways of finding a particular pattern. You can use wildcards in your search. You can use things called meta characters that allow you to search based on a particular category such as digits only or letters only. Things of that nature. So what I want to do now is perform a wildcard search. So we have a single period that tells the function find me the first wildcard character which is anything whether it be a space, number, letter, underscore. So this pulls back the first character in our string. If I want to pull back the first three characters I would enter three periods if I wanted to pull back every wildcard character without having to know the length of my string I could simply enter one period and add a plus and it will find the sequence of consecutive wildcard characters which is the entire string if we wanted to get just the last three characters of the string I could enter three periods and then a dollar sign on the end telling it to search from the end and that would produce the last three digits of our zip code so now we're gonna look at the meta character pattern searches so to tell the function you want to do a meta character search you need to begin it with a slash and there are particular letters that mean certain things for this meta character pattern search so a lowercase d will find a single occurrence of the first match of a number so in this case it produces the first match it finds of a number which is seven if we wanted to find the first sequence of consecutive numbers in a pattern we could add a plus to the end of that and that would produce the numerical portion of our street address if we wanted to find the ending zip code we could add a dollar to the end of that and that would produce the sequence of numbers on the end of our string. What we can also do is search based on a meta character that represents non numbers, which would be a capital D. So the first instance of that would actually be a space after the five in our street address number. So if we wanted to find all the consecutive pattern of all non-digits we could add a plus on that and that produces everything 
beginning from the space after the five all the way to the space before the four. So now we want to do what we initially set out to do, which was to break these address segments apart and put them in the respective columns over here. So we'll start with the zip code, which we really did this already, but I'll do it first because it's the easiest one to do out of the others. So our regular expression is going to be the meta character lowercase d to get numbers only, and we want a plus on the end to get a consecutive sequence of numbers one right after the other and we want to add a dollar sign because we want to get the first consecutive sequence starting from the end of our string so that gets us all of our zip codes easy enough so the next three things that we want to pull back a match for are a little more involved but definitely not impossible so we want to pull back the state abbreviation and before I get into that I want to briefly go over another meta character type that we're going to use in this case so we have our text and then we're going to use a regular expression meta character lowercase w which this pulls back essentially everything that is not a space it pulls back letters numbers underscores so anything but a space so if I add a plus on the end of that what that will pull back is the first set of characters before the first space which is our street address numbers so if I add that on the end it will pull back the zip code so these next three items are kind of a two-step process what we need to do is use something called a capture group. A capture group in your second argument is enclosed in a set of parentheses and basically you're telling the function this is the only thing I want to pull back is a word pattern with no spaces. So I can put patterns before or after this set of parentheses and the function will see that as well we're looking for a pattern that occurs before this thing we want to pull back and that is what we want to do in this case in this case we have a pattern of a comma a space a word or two and then another comma and a space so in that case I have a pattern that occurs before the state abbreviation so I have a comma and then in this case I'm gonna enter a wildcard character and then a plus because the amount of wildcards varies depending on what address we're on and then after that we have a comma and then a space and you can see when I do this it pulls back the state abbreviation so to sum up again we have a pattern that occurs before the thing we want to pull back in parentheses so this pulls back all of the state abbreviations so for the city we have a pattern that occurs before and after we're looking for a comma and a space that occurs before and then directly after that a comma so we have 
before our capture group a pattern of a comma space we have our capture group in parentheses what we want to pull back which is wildcard pattern and then after that we have a comma immediately so that pulls back our cities so now finally we have our last thing our street address and this time our capture group occurs on the front end and our pattern occurs on the back end So we have our capture group in parentheses on the front end, which is going to be wildcard, consecutive wildcards. And then the pattern, the first thing that occurs after our capture group is a comma, followed by another wildcard group here, and then another comma, and then that's it so that captures all of our street addresses well that is all for now thanks for watching please remember to subscribe